Giving up is the birth of regret. The reality of life is that we will all hear more no's than we hear yeses. In the summer of 2009, I was 19 years old, working a summer position at Target between my freshman and sophomore year at undergraduate school. I was working in the women's clothing department and I noticed a lady staring at me from across the aisle. I figured she probably had a few screws loose, so I attempted to ignore her very intense stares. She eventually manages to make her way a little bit closer and closer to me where I was working until she eventually walks up to me and says hello. I say the famous Target quote, which is, hi, may I help you find something? She then asks me, were you born in this country? And I was immediately offended. And I said, yeah, I was born in this country. And then she says, do you have any kids? I said, no, I don't have any kids. She then asked me if I was married, and then I said, no ma'am, I am not married. She says, how old are you? I said, 19, may I help you find something? <laughs> she then says, you are the most beautiful girl I have seen. And I said, oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't work that much on my makeup, but I did the best I could, but thank you. <laughs> and then she says, I think you could be the next Miss USA. And I stare at her in pure disgust and said, pageants? You're telling me pageants, like Sandra Bullock, Miss Congeniality. Pageants, you think I should compete in pageants? I'm in the army, okay? We don't do pageants in the army. <laughs> she then asked me to meet her at Starbucks the very next day before my next shift at Target. And she just wanted to do a little bit of explaining when it comes to what pageants is. And apparently I was a pretty open-minded 19-year-old because I actually agreed to meet her the very next day. The next day she brought this foot tall stack of pageant books and proceeds to convince me to enter into a state pageant three months later. For those who do not know, when it comes to Miss USA, you have to win your state first, okay? So three months later, I compete in my first pageant and I lose. I go back the second year, compete in the state pageant, I lose. Go back the third year, compete in the state pageant, and lose. Go back the fourth year, compete in the same pageant, and lose. I go back the fifth year, y'all. <laughs> compete in the state pageant and lose. But guess what, I go back the sixth year, and guess what happens? I lose. <laughs> on the phone and said, you told me I could be the next Miss USA. And she says, Deshauna, keep working, keep working, don't quit, keep going back. And in June of 2015, she passes away from leukemia. Six months later, in December 2015, I win Miss District of Columbia, USA. And six months after that, in June of 2016, I become the first soldier to win Miss USA. Giving up is the birth of regret. Giving up is something I did a lot of growing up and I don't think I really challenged myself to stick anything through until I joined the track team in middle school. I remember having to ask my mom after tryouts and making it to the team for my very first pair of track shoes. Now at the time, she walks into our house and she has a bag that has a nice Nike check sign on it. So I get excited because I wasn't getting new shoes very often. I go to take the shoe box out the bag and I notice that it says a size nine on it. Mind you, in the seventh grade I was a size five. I open the box and I slide my feet into the shoe and I look at my mother and I said, these shoes are too big. She says, I know I did that on purpose. I was like, why would you buy shoes that are too big on purpose, mom? And she says, because I know that you're going to grow into them. Coach has us line up on the starting line and he wants us to run a lap around the track. As we go to take off, I immediately fall to the ground. Twist my ankle because the shoes are entirely too big. See, I couldn't run at the speed that I wanted to. 
because I didn't fit the shoes I was wearing at the time. Now, many of us have goals we're trying to achieve, but the person we are right now is not the person that we need to be when we cross the finish line to our dreams. So we must walk and pace ourselves on this journey to our goals because we haven't grown enough in ourselves to fit the shoes that we need to achieve our aspirations. At times, our purpose drops in our laps as if the heavens threw it by accident. I ask only one thing of you all today after you leave this building. Do not fear failure, but please be terrified of regret. As giving up is the birth of regret. After you walk out this door, you will receive a hundred doors shut, slam in your face. You will have a hundred moments that will be filled with someone telling you no or telling you, thank you for your application, but we regret to inform you that we've chosen a different candidate for this job. You will sit in a hundred different interviews and you will not get the job. The reality of life is that we will all hear more no's than we hear yeses. And we will fail a lot, and I mean a whole lot. But what I ask of you today is to not take no for an answer. Don't be afraid of no's. Be afraid of the possibility of a yes that you have prematurely destroyed because you decided to quit before the clock strikes 12. You can ask anyone, friend, family, anybody. I love a good no. Please tell me no. Telling me no is like adding fuel to a fire that is now set ablaze because of your single no. I love additional reasons to work harder. Please give me a reason. So today I challenge you to fight, to work, to not stop here, to believe so heavily in your aspirations that you too will not fear the word no, but instead you will choose to welcome it. Thank you. As we open our graduation service today, Father Lord, we open it in a prayer, Father God, where our hearts are in a place of gratitude towards your holy name. We thank you for the opportunity. We thank you for the privilege. We thank you, Lord God, for every student that is graduating here today. Lord God, we just lift up the graduation before you. Father God, we lift up the tutor before you today in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we pray that your hand will be upon the graduation. Your hand will be upon every student. Father God, may we Father God, excel in every area, not just in this computer course, but in every area of our life, every advancement. Father God, we pray for your success and your progress in the name of Jesus. We pray that the graduation will bless every person's heart in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you, O God, for all that you have done and all that you are about to do as we transition from this place, as we receive our certificate. Lord, we thank Thank you and we worship you and we praise you and we pray a blessing and I pray a blessing over every student in Jesus almighty name. Amen. Ayana Chadban, grade A. Nakisha Paul, grade A. Lauren Charles, grade A. Anika Riley, grade A. Dominic Velafana, grade. E plus Patrika Marina Grade E plus
Nakita Spencer, grade A+. Rolling Tree Whitefield, grade A+. Plus. Kidding Ali, grade A+. Plus. Ashley Budu, grade a plus Shivag Satram Greed E plus Lindian Cyrus Greed E plus Venus Jones, grade A plus. Giangele John, grade A plus. Tessa Blackman, grade. A plus Now we have all the students who get a hundred percent out of hundred. So we have Katian Pascal grade A plus. Congratulations. Petronella Butler, grade A plus. Congratulations. Tessa Gilliam, grade A plus. Congratulations. Delka Joseph. Grade A plus. Congratulations. And Daria Wu. Grade A plus. Congratulations. Patsy Richards. Fifty one percent. Grade. B plus Shinika D Keto Green B plus fifty four per cent. Roxanne Joseph, 90%, Creed A+. Jinnel Paul, 92%, Creed A+. with also 92% grade E plus and coming in first place we have Chanel 
Francis with 94%. Congratulations. <laughs>